Compact fluorescent lamps, or CFLs, are revolutionizing lighting around the world. Once thought of as an annoying, greenish, buzzing light in offices and other commercial buildings, today's CFLs rival the soft, warm light of old-fashioned incandescent light bulbs, but they use 75% less energy and last up to 13 times longer, adding up to as many as seven years between bulb changes. That means consumers save hundreds of dollars every year in electric bills. Plus, because they don't burn as hot as incandescent bulbs, CFLs help lower cooling bills too. Let's do the math. By replacing a 60-watt incandescent bulb with a 13-watt CFL that generates the same amount of light, the energy savings equals 47 watts per bulb. When multiplied by the average national cost of energy at 10 cents per kilowatt hour times 10 kilowatt hours, the average bulb life, the savings totals $47 in electricity costs over the life of the bulb. Since the average home has between 50 and 100 light sockets, consumers could save as much as $4,700 over the life of the bulbs. There is only one company driving the technology behind this energy efficient lighting revolution, TCP. Though only a fraction the size of its competitors, TCP, headquartered outside Cleveland, Ohio, manufactures more than 70% of the CFLs on the U.S. market through a variety of name brand, private label, and other lighting manufacturers, including Envision at the Home Depot. TCP's lighting innovations are changing the perception of what it means to use fluorescent lighting in the home. TCP has developed a superior manufacturing process. It controls all aspects, from making its own glass to handcrafting each CFL. The company produces more than 800,000 CFLs per day. TCP pioneered the use of the spring lamp inside rather than a straight tube in a compact fluorescent lamp. The high lumen output of TCP spring lamps set the standard for energy efficient lighting. The company produces the smallest 60 watt equivalent CFL, small enough to fit any application. Plus, TCP is the only manufacturer offering low sodium, lead free glass and lead free solders as an option in its CFLs, making its products brighter and longer lasting. CFLs must contain mercury in order to glow and give light. TCP has developed a manufacturing process that requires only a minimum amount of mercury, less than 3.5 milligrams. By comparison, older home thermometers contain 500 milligrams, and many manual thermostats contain up to 3,000 milligrams. It would take between 100 and 600 CFLs to equal those amounts. CFLs are responsible for less mercury than standard incandescent light bulbs. A coal-burning power plant will emit 10 milligrams of mercury to produce the electricity to run an incandescent bulb, compared to only 2.4 milligrams of mercury to run a CFL. Since using less electricity cuts the amount of pollution that causes global warming, CFLs are an easy and immediate way to reduce harmful emissions. If every American home replaced just one of the most used light bulbs with a CFL, together we'd save enough energy to light more than 2.5 million homes for an entire year and prevent greenhouse gases equivalent to the emissions of nearly 800,000 cars. TCP estimates the CFLs it manufactures per day will reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 180,000 tons every day, or the equivalent of 360 million pounds of emissions from power plants. The issue of global warming is calling greater attention to CFLs than ever before. From California to Connecticut, Paris to Rome, CFLs are making headlines around the world as one of the fastest and least expensive ways consumers can have a positive effect on the environment. It's brightened up our lives for more than a century. But for these kids, the humble light globe is about to become history. From NBC News, 
This is Today. This is a traditional incandescent light bulb. We have, the average home has what, 55 of these in That's it? That's exactly right. And this is what? This is a compact fluorescent light bulb. It's estimated if every American home were to play, replace one of these with one of these, they'd save enough energy to, to light two and a half million homes and save the greenhouse gases from, from 800,000 cars. That's right. And then, of course, you multiply that times 55 bulbs in the average home, you got huge savings. You're taking almost all the American cars off the road. It's lit our way for 128 years, but an alliance of businesses, energy experts, and environmentalists today said it's time to dim old Tom Edison's incandescent light bulb and switch by 2016 to a brighter future, to energy efficient fluorescence. In California and Australia, government leaders are proposing bans on incandescent light bulbs. Landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and Rome's Colosseum are symbolically going dark to call attention to the issue. Students and schools across the U.S. are getting involved, pledging to use CFLs at home. Community leaders, environmentalists, neighbors, and families are making lifestyle changes to reduce harmful greenhouse gas emissions. The challenge is great. Less than 10% of sockets in U.S. households use CFLs. great opportunities knocking at the door to change a century-old buying habit, to help consumers save money, to reduce the risks of global warming. It's time to flip the switch and shine a new light on your world.